Right now, we shall sleaze. Presented by McDonald's. The best part about working at McDonald's is the people. Barnes, I'm just getting caught up on this past weekend's SNL. Did you know that Noel and Liam Gallagher stopped by Weekend Update? That seems shocking to me that they would do such a thing. Yeah, talking about the reunion tour. Here to comment, our brothers Noel and Liam Gallagher. Hello. Thanks for having us. <laughs> oh, thanks for being here. Now, everyone's wondering, are you guys going to be cool to tour a year from now? To my bay. To set my bay. If Liam doesn't act like a baby. <laughs> You're a baby. You're a baby. baby. Oh, he stuck his tongue at me. Come on, did you see that? You're 50 years old. You're fighting like a couple of little kids, okay? Yeah, it's brother stuff, right? It's proper brother stuff. You know what it's like hosting Weekend Update with your biological twin brother? Yeah, he's twins. (laughs) You think me and Shay are twins? Well, maybe. (laughs) Your mum had black and white baby. (laughs) Where did the feud actually start? Wembley Stadium, oh. 1993. Come on, fair. Yeah, we was with Posh Spice, Scary Spice, Stinky Spice. You <laughs> told everyone I had a crooked knob. I did not. Yeah, you said me knob bended like Beckham. Oh, yeah? <laughs> did I see that they were pissed about that? Were they? I saw some story that they were upset about that portrayal. They seem to be, like, laughing about everything lately. Well, I think that one must have hit a nerve. Yeah, some new cast members, James Austin Johnson playing Noel and uh, Sarah Sherman doing Liam. Here's another one that this was really, really funny on SNL. I think Ariana Grande did this dueling Jennifer Coolidge impression with one of the cast members, Chloe Fineman. This is really funny. It started with Chloe looking in the mirror and then Ariana is in the mirror and then Ariana is the mirror image Coolidge. I have never thought she was funny. I've never thought really anything about Ariana Grande. She nailed it here. Talk about nailing it. You are right. (laughs) Jennifer Coolidge for Maybelline. Oh, gosh. Hi. Maybelline's new Super Stay Longwear Liquid Lip Color goes on like a dream. I better look in the mirror and make sure I didn't miss any spots. Wow, you look great, Jennifer Coolidge. Really? Heck yeah. Thanks to Maybelline's long wear liquid lip color. <laughs> Thanks. I've got a big date tonight, and I'm counting on Maybelline's liquid lip, long lip to seal the deal. <laughs> wow, you can't help but sound smart when you're wearing Maybelline. Let's say the name together. Yeah. Maybelline, Maybelline lip color lip lining lighter. <laughs> I mean, she nailed it. I've seen people do Jennifer Coolidge, but that was really good. I've never seen this on Saturday Night Live. Did you see the weird technical glitch right before Stevie Nicks? No, but I heard it was almost a minute long, right? Something happened? Like 50 seconds, they had to delay and they just put a billboard up of Stevie Nicks. And then, of course, she went on to do Edge of 17, but... I've never seen that happen before. They didn't really explain it. It could have been something in the studio. Sometimes if someone like crashes the stage or something, because it is live on a delay, that maybe that happened because 50 seconds is a long time. It's like an eternity in television. Yeah, so something must have happened in the studio and they're trying to keep it under wraps or something weird. The other thing that I thought was uh, interesting, talk about improv, Dana Carvey, you know who's on doing Joe Biden now, and of course, Maya Rudolph is Kamala Harris. Well, I guess one of the prop people gave him an ice cream cone just to hold. But he ended up, he said it was a last minute decision. He ended up smashing it into her face when they went live. I love that it's impromptu. They're trying to really make a comeback on SNL. I mean, well, it has everybody else talking about it. I thought that was pretty funny. Well, you know, is Crash back? I need to ask him about something. Yes. He finished doing the traffic. Crash. Crash. There is, this is, I thought about you immediately when I saw this story. Okay. Clint Eastwood, right? Hollywood legend. Yeah, absolutely. Who's now 94, is dating again. What? Wow. (laughs) 84 days after his ex's death. Oh. Christina Sandera, uh, yeah, she heartbreakingly passed away. But I guess now he is dating. He's found love again in Carmel, California. He's seen with the new love of his life. Life still goes on. Well, he doesn't have a lot of time, in all fairness. (laughs) I mean, at 94, I'm not making a joke, but I mean, he's like, I got to get on 
and get right back. Yeah. Could this this might be his last movie. I don't know how he's doing it at 94. My dad couldn't even change the channel anymore at 80. I mean, 94, he's still directing movies? And dating. Yeah. He's on it. I know. <laughs> you know, that story we had like a couple of weeks ago about, you know, Taylor Swift now being a billionaire, right? Yeah. Well, she's not the only person making money while performing. There is a woman who is a T-Swift impersonator. I've seen this. You know how much she's making a show? I saw this story. She looks exactly like her. Olivia Magica. She is a singer who kind of looks like Taylor Swift. The band is called Blank Space Tribute Band, and they were on the uh, TMZ podcast. They said, how much do you make per show? Almost 20K. That's unreal. I mean, seriously? I mean, she comes out in a unitard, and I think she looks a lot like her in a, in a live band. She's killing it. Think about this. I mean, you know, there's a lot of cover bands out there, but are they making 20K a show? No. And, and, and she just happens to look like Taylor Swift and happens to sing. It's unbelievable. Okay, did you see everyone roasting Mark Davis, the owner of the Raiders? Which, which time? Talking about his 26-year-old girlfriend? Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> okay, his 26-year-old girlfriend, Hayden Hopkins... He went on X and he said, she had no idea I was a billionaire. She was attracted to me Mm -hmm. because of my beautiful smile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are like, dude, (laughs) seriously? And your red mo cut. (laughs) Yeah, wake up, bruh. (laughs) What is happening here? It's like Bill Belichick and his girlfriend. It's It's not about the money. Riley Keough was on Late Night with Seth Meyers. Barnes, I need to know what you think about this. She's talking about how she and her mom, Lisa Marie, would actually stay at Graceland when it was open, doing tours. Stay, they'd just stay upstairs? And people would just be yeah. going through the house? They're there, yes. It wasn't like all the time. It was There were some nights where she wanted to stay there and she would bring us with her. And the tours start in the morning and they end at four. So if we were to stay in the house, um, Elvis's room and my mother's room are not part of the tour. So we would stay upstairs and have to wait, basically. We'd get stuck until the tours were over. (laughs) So if you didn't get out before 10? If we didn't get out before the tours began, we were stuck until, like, 5 p.m. (laughs) That's, like, the weirdest hotel. It's like, check out, check out 10. If you miss it, check out 5. I know. Damn, I've done that a few times, and I'm always, I just want to make a bolt for it and go upstairs and see. I want to see the throne. Who's in the bedroom? Oh, and that is your Celebrity Sleaze.